Hello, say chat up. When something needs to be done, but you feel lazy, you've got to realize that there are two people within you. One person is the person you are today. The other person is the person you want to be. And laziness is preventing you from becoming the person you want to be. This type of laziness is a type of resistance. Now, resistance is a broader term for us to explain the difficulty of doing what needs to be done. Resistance makes you watch television instead of exercising. Resistance makes you scroll on social media when you should be actually working. Resistance makes you procrastinate instead of finishing writing your report. Resistance appears when you try to create something new in your routine to improve your life, but you are too lazy or scared or uncertain about how to start. Therefore, Today you're going to learn how to put an end to this kind of laziness and the fear and uncertainty that cause resistance. And the first step is realizing that you probably see this resistance as an obstacle, as a barrier that prevents you from living the life you want to live. To obtain different results, we're going to think differently. Stop thinking that laziness is holding you back. Look at your resistance from doing what needs to be done and see this resistance as an ally, as an important advisor that will give you clarity about the most important and rewarding tasks you've got to do. Laziness reveals resistance. And resistance clearly indicates which tasks you should prioritize to transform your life. You just have to listen. One of the most rare abilities nowadays is the ability to make decisions, to know how to prioritize tasks, and to focus on what is most important. Large companies desperately search for professionals with these abilities. It is getting harder and harder to find focused professionals. Now, the good news is that you can use your laziness to your advantage. Whenever you feel too lazy to take on a challenge, notice that there is resistance. This resistance is not an enemy. Resistance is not a barrier that prevents you from living the life of your dreams. In fact, resistance can be your best advisor. And the reason for this is quite simple. The things that you resist doing the most are the most important things in your life. For example, you think about leaving your job and taking the risk of starting your own business, but you're scared of doing it. You want to change your lifestyle and start eating healthily, exercising and practicing meditation, but you are uncertain about where to start. You want to learn a new language, but you are always procrastinating. The things you resist doing because of fear, uncertainty, procrastination, or laziness, these are the most important things for you to do right now. The more you resist, the more important the task. Notice how resistance does not appear for less important things. Resistance never shows up when you're scrolling on your social media feed, when you're watching a new episode of your favorite series, or when you are eating unhealthy food. So whenever you feel uncertain about what you should do next and what tasks should be prioritized, listen to this internal voice of resistance. You could even change the question. Instead of asking, what should I do next? Start asking, which task am I resisting the most right now? Or what task should I be doing but I feel too lazy to do? Most probably the answer is the most important task you have to do. Confront resistance like a professional. Do your tasks when you don't feel like doing them. How can you put an end to laziness? The best way to overcome this resistance to your projects is confronting your personal goals in a professional way. Every employee knows that they should arrive at work in a specific time, they have to complete the day's tasks and fulfill the workload. Employees do not have a choice. There are days when you feel lazy, but you go and do it anyway. You clock in on time, you do your duties until the end of the day, then you go home. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you are in a bad mood or if you're lacking motivation, you just go. When you confront resistance like a professional, you manage to do the same with your personal projects. When we speak about our dreams and our personal goals, usually we adopt a different perspective. Generally, we let laziness win. We are stalled by resistance. We wait for inspiration to appear, for motivation to increase, and we actually never start working on our project. We never start a diet or training that we wanted to do for a long time. We never study the language until we reach fluent proficiency. Author Steven Pressfield has a method to solve this. Confronting resistance like a professional. When he wants to write another book, for example, 
he clocks in at half past 10. He sits in front of his computer and then he writes during four hours until he has done that task that he assigned himself. It does not matter if he was feeling creative or not on that particular day. If he's feeling lazy or not, he simply sits down and then he writes during four hours in the same way that a worker goes to the factory and does their duties regardless of motivation. William Faulkner won a Nobel Prize in literature with the same idea. He said, I only write when I'm inspired. Fortunately, I am inspired at 9 o'clock every morning. Resistance will be there every day, trying to feed off your fear, uncertainty, procrastination. But once you start to move, even if you feel lazy, resistance starts getting weaker. And if you move like a professional, always working on time and doing your duties, you will soon have the satisfaction of a job well done. The greater your resistance to a task, the more satisfied you will feel once it is done. So far, you have found out that the tasks you resist the most are the most important tasks in your life. And also that the best way of overcoming resistance is confronting your personal projects like a professional. But the truth is that nobody will do a lot of difficult tasks over a long period of time without being rewarded. This could be a financial reward or recognition or simply feeling proud about a job well done. And here's the good news. In the same way that resistance indicates which tasks are the most important, it also reveals which tasks are the most rewarding when they're finally completed. For example, imagine that you have spent years thinking about starting your own business or losing weight and gaining muscle mass or learning how to speak Mandarin. If you are stalled by resistance, these unrealized dreams will just stay in your head. You will imagine what your life would be like if you had followed these dreams and uh, you will end up comparing your current life with your dream life. In this comparison, your current life seems even worse, which makes you frustrated, unmotivated, unhappy. And this negative mental state will make you continue doing what you always did. Then you become trapped by your work routine, your bad eating habits, your studies that are not moving forward. Now let's think of a different scenario. Imagine that you overcame that resistance. Even with fear, uncertainty, laziness, you confronted resistance and then you worked towards your personal goals like a professional. You started that business, you adopted a healthy lifestyle, you learned Mandarin, whatever it is, you realized your biggest dreams, whatever they are. It is obvious that you will be more satisfied than if you kept losing the battle against resistance. Achieving big goals is always more rewarding than suffering with the guilt of not doing what needs to be done, wasting your time with less important activities. When you resist the task, it means it is very important which also means that it's going to be very rewarding when you finally take action and you do what needs to be done. Therefore, do not let yourself be stopped. Confront resistance like a professional and start realizing your biggest life goals today. We all have to deal with laziness and resistance. Even the most successful people in the world suffer with fear, uncertainty, and procrastination. It is not about whether or not you will be stopped by resistance. Laziness can be useful as it tells you what you need to do right now. Instead of treating this feeling like an enemy, you can use resistance as an ally. It will show you the most important tasks that you have to do that will also be the most rewarding ones once you finally complete them. Therefore, stop procrastinating. Start confronting resistance like a professional. In the Productivity Ninja course, you can find various techniques to combat the habit of delaying your tasks and becoming a more productive professional. And you can watch a special Productivity Ninja class about procrastination right now by following the link arata.se forward slash delaying.